so students let us continue with practice set 40 in our second video the first problem is if rihanna deposits 1500 rupees in a school fund at 9 pcpa for 2 years what is the total amount she will get given principal is 1500 rupees rate is 9 pcpa time is 2 years interest we have to find out and amount also we have to find out so the formula to calculate interest is i is equal to p into r into t upon 100 so interest is equal to 1500 into 9 into 2 upon 100 so we cancel those two zeros from the numerator and denominator and after multiplying we get the interest as 270 rupees so now to find out the amount uh, a is equal to p plus i that is principal plus interest that is equal to 1500 plus 270 rupees so total is equal to 1770 rupees so rihanna will get 1770 rupees <coughs> excuse me Second problem, look into a textbook. Jetalal took a housing loan of 2,50,000 rupees from a bank at 10 PCPA for 5 years. What is the yearly interest he must pay and the total amount he returns to the bank? So, let's find the solution. So, here P is equal to rupees 2,50,000. R is equal to 10 PCPA, T is equal to 5 years, interest per year we have to calculate an amount also. So interest per year is equal to P into R into T upon 100 that is 2,50,000 into 10 into 1 upon 100. So we cancel two zeros from the numerator and two zeros from the denominator and we get rupees 25,000 as interest for one year. So for five years, the interest will be 25,000 into five. That is equal to rupees 1,25,000. Now amount is equal to principal plus interest. So principal is 2,50,000 plus 1,25,000 interest. So that total comes to rupees 3,75,000. So the yearly interest is 25,000 rupees and Jetanal will return a total amount of rupees 3,75,000 to the bank. Third problem, let's read it from the textbook. Shrikanth deposited 85,000 rupees for two and a half years at 7 PCPA in a savings bank account. What is the total interest he received at the end of the period? So let's find out the solution. So principal is equal to 85,000, rate is equal to 7 PCPA, time is equal to two and a half years, that is equal to 5 upon 2. Okay, 2 to the 4 plus 1, 5 upon 2. Interest, we have to find out. So, to calculate interest, the formula is I is equal to P into R into T upon 100. So, that is equal to 85,000 into 7 into 5 upon 100 into 2. Now, two zeros from the numerator and denominator are cancelled. So, remaining is 850 into 7 into 5 upon 2. So, after you calculate it, you get rupees 14,875 rupees as the interest. So, Shrikanth will receive rupees 14,875 rupees at the end of the period. Now, let us go to the fourth problem. At a certain rate of interest, the interest after 4 years on 5000 rupees principal is rupees 1200. What would be the interest 
on 15000 rupees at the same rate of interest for the same period so let us look at the fourth problem so p is equal to 5000 rupees t is equal to 4 years i is equal to 1200 rupees rate we have to find out so the formula is i is equal to p into r into t upon 100 So let's substitute the values. So therefore, twelve hundred is equal to five thousand into R into four upon hundred. So two zeros from the numerator and the denominator are cancelled. So we get twelve hundred into fifty into R into four. So after interchanging the places, we get R is equal to twelve hundred upon two hundred. Fifty into four is two hundred. So cancel those two zeros from numerator and denominator. Two ones are two six are twelve. So the rate is six. Now let us read the fifth problem. If now next sorry the fourth problem. Let us continue it. Now the interest is directly proportional to the principal, the time and the rate remaining constant. So let the interest on rupees fifteen thousand be x rupees. Then x upon fifteen thousand is equal to twelve hundred upon five thousand. So x is equal to twelve hundred upon five thousand into fifteen thousand, multiplying both sides of the equation by fifteen thousand. So after doing all the calculations, cancelling the zeros and all, five ones are five threes are fifteen. And twelve threes are thirty six. So x is equal to three thousand six hundred rupees. So the interest is rupees three thousand six hundred rupees. Now the fifth problem: If Pankaj deposits one lakh fifty thousand rupees in a bank at ten PCPA for two years, what is the total amount he will get from the bank? So let's find out the answer. So principal is equal to one lakh fifty thousand. R is equal to ten PCPA. T is equal to two years. So let's find the interest amount. Also, we have to find out the I is equal to P into R into T upon hundred. So that is equal to one lakh fifty thousand into ten into two upon hundred. So after cancelling the zeros and multiplying the remaining numbers, we get. Thirty thousand rupees as interest. So to calculate amount, amount is equal to principal plus interest. That is equal to one lakh fifty thousand plus thirty thousand. That comes to one lakh eighty thousand rupees. So Pankaj will get total amount one lakh eighty thousand rupees. So I hope you have followed this exercise. Now let us continue. On page number seventy-three, so let's learn. When three of the four quantities, principal, time, rate, and amount are given, to find the fourth, in the formula we place any letter in place of the unknown quantity and solve the equation thus obtained to find the answer. Example: principal is equal to twenty-five thousand rupees. Amount is equal to thirty one thousand rupees. Time is equal to four years. What is the rate of interest? So here we know that amount minus principal is equal to total interest. So thirty one thousand minus twenty five thousand is equal to six thousand. So principal is equal to twenty five thousand rupees. Time is four years. Interest is six thousand. Now let us use the formula. Simple interest is equal to principal into rate into time upon hundred. Then six thousand into twenty five thousand into R into four upon hundred. Now where R is the rate of interest? Now the value which we have to find out, we keep it at one side and we take all the numbers to the other side. So R is equal to six thousand into hundred. Upon twenty five thousand into four. So after cancelling the three zeros from the denominator and three zeros 
from the numerator and multiplying the remaining we get r is equal to 6 so the rate of interest is 6 pcpa second example unmesh borrowed some money for 5 years at simple interest the rate of interest is 9 pcpa if he returned 17400 rupees altogether at the end of 5 years how much had he borrowed so interest is equal to principal into rate into time upon 100 this formula cannot be used directly to solve the problem because we do not know either interest or principal however the interest on the principal of 100 rupees for 5 years is 45 rupees hence the amount is 100 plus 45 that is 145 rupees now we can express the ratio of the principal and the amount in two ways and obtain an equation if unmesh's principal is p then p upon 17400 is equal to 100 upon 145 now p is unknown so we'll keep it at one side and transfer the numbers to the other side so 100 into 17400 it will go in the numerator upon 145 now after multiplying and dividing we we'll, we get the answer as 12000 rupees so the principal that unmesh borrowed was rupees 12000 rupees so we can solve the problem so let's discuss can we solve the problem by using the formula to obtain a different kind of equation now let us go to practice set 41 now the first question is if the interest on rupees 1700 rupees is 340 rupees for two years the rate of interest must be dash you have to choose the correct option from there okay so the first option is 12 percent second is 15 percent third is 4 percent and fourth is 10 percent so here principal is given to be 1700 rupees t is equal to two years interest is equal to rupees 340 rate we have to find out so the formula is interest is equal to p into r into t upon 100 so 340 is equal to 1700 into r into 2 upon 100 therefore 340 is equal to 17 into 2 into r we have cancelled the zeros so rate is equal to 340 upon 17 into 2 so we know that 17 to the 34 so ones are and zero so rate is equal to 10 percent so here the fourth option 10 is correct now let us see the second problem from the textbook if the interest on 3000 rupees is 600 rupees at a certain rate for a certain number of years what would be the interest on 1500 rupees under the same conditions now here interest is equal to p into r into t upon 100 so here i1 is equal to 600 where p is equal to rupees 3000 i2 we have to find out where p is equal to 1500 rupees now r and t remain the same now i1 upon i2 is equal to p1 upon p2 therefore 600 upon i2 is equal to 3000 upon 1500 so 600 into 1500 is equal to 3000 into i2 so we have to find out i2 so i2 is equal to 600 into 1500 upon 3000 so after cancelling the three zeros from the numerator and three zeros from the denominator we get i2 is equal to 300 so the interest is 300 rupees so the correct alternative here is the first one that is 300 rupees now let us see the third problem 
Javed deposited 12,000 rupees at 9 PCPA in a bank for some years and withdrew his interest every year. At the end of the period, he had received altogether 17,400 rupees. For how many years had he deposited his money? Now here, principal is 12,000 rupees. Rate is equal to 9 PCPA. T1 is equal to 1 year. T2, that is time period, is we have to find out. Amount is equal to 17,400. So let's find the interest for one year. Interest is equal to P into R into I, uh, sorry, into T upon 100. So 12,000 into 9 into 1 upon 100. So after solving this, you get it as rupees 1,080. So interest I1 is equal to 1,080 rupees. Now amount is equal to principal plus interest. So amount is 17,400 plus principal is 12, sorry, is equal to 1200 plus interest. So interest is equal to 17,400 minus 12,000. So interest is equal to 5,400. Okay. Now T1 upon T2 is equal to I1 upon I2. So T1 that is 1 upon T2 is equal to 1080 upon 5,400. So we have to find out T2. So T2 is equal to 5400 upon 1080. So after calculations, you will get it T2 as 5. So the time period for which Javed deposited the amount is 5 years. Now let us go to the fourth problem. Lata Ben borrowed some money from a bank at a rate of 10 PCPA interest for two and a half years to start a cottage industry. If she paid 10,250 rupees as total interest, how much money had she borrowed? So let's find out the solution here. So here I2 is given to be rupees 10,250. Rate is 10 PCPA. Time is two and a half years. P2 we have to find out principal. So let P1 that is principal be 100 rupees. So let's find the interest on rupees 100 that is P1. So I is equal to P into R into T upon 100. That is 100 into 10 into 2 and a half upon 100. So 2 and a half means 5 upon 2. So 100 once 100 gets cancelled. So 10 into 5 upon 2. So 2 ones are 2 fives are 10. So 5 fives are 25. So interest on principal of rupees 100 is rupees 25. That is I1. Now I1 upon I2 is equal to P1 upon P2. So 25 upon 10,250 is equal to 100 upon P2. So 25 into P2 is equal to 100 into 10,250. So P2 we keep it at one side and the numbers on the other side. So 100 into 10,250 upon 25 is equal to after cancellation you get 41,000 rupees. So Lata Ben had borrowed rupees 41,000. Now let us go to the table. Fill in the plans. Now the, in the column, first column principle is given. Second column rate of interest is given. Third column time is given. Fourth column interest is given. And last column amount is given. Now here I have solved for you the fifth problem over here. Remaining you will solve as I have solved here. Now here you have to find out the principle. Rate of interest is 2.5%. Time is 5 years. Interest is 2400. And amount we have to find out. So, so the formula is interest is equal to P into R into T upon 100. So, interest is 2400 is equal to P into 2 and a half into 5 upon 100. So, 
thousand four hundred into hundred upon two and a half into five. Now two and a half means two to the four five upon two. Now in the next step five upon two means five will remain in the denominator and two will go in the numerator. So in the next step you can see two thousand four hundred. Principal is equal to two thousand four hundred into hundred into two upon five into five. So after uh, solving all this, you get principal as nineteen thousand two hundred rupees. Now let's calculate the amount. Amount is equal to principal plus interest. So nineteen thousand two hundred plus two thousand four hundred comes to rupees twenty one thousand six hundred rupees. Okay. So now you have to solve these exercises in your notebooks. I hope you have all followed these examples and learn the definition of the different types of accounts. Okay, thank you very much.